Good evening, everyone. It's Steve, KI5JUF. Hope everyone's having a good evening tonight. And uh, I want to thank my friend Mark, uh, one of our subscribers. He has helped me solve a problem, and I really appreciate that, Mark. Uh, I'll give him a quick sh As they say, I'll give him a quick shout-out here. His name is Mark G., and I think I got this whole thing figured out now. So what I want to talk about tonight is... Uh, historically, we've been working with using the uh, the with command, and uh, the with command is only for your receive. So this is something Mark helped me solve tonight. Um, and what I've talked about in the past is, uh, let me go up here to page 14, uh, is the with is essentially going to narrow your uh, pass band on your receive only. And this is something that... Uh, I have reported incorrectly in the past because part of it is I, I just didn't quite understand it all but uh, now I've got it all figured out and the uh, the with command is essentially for the receive only and this is you know your settings here for the with command just press the FM list and select uh, with and then of course turn the multi knob left and right so no big deal there but what I want to go over with you is uh, what I've been trying to describe is the actual transmit passband. In other words, uh, my, my original understanding was that the width would control the receive passband and the transmit passband. Well, that, that was not correct, and, and uh, I appreciate, uh, sure to appreciate um, Mark helping me out with this, and I'll kind of go over this here. Sorry about that. So what I'm going to go over real quick is the passband, essentially. And what I'm going to do tonight is, on the transmit, is I'm going to demonstrate uh, what that actually uh, will sound like and so forth. So I'm going to go here to page 39, which is where I have the uh, my little, uh, little, little uh, spectrum here. So typically on single sideband, we typically talk around 2.4 kilohertz. And what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to, to change some settings and actually make the passband more narrower. And what that's going to do is that's going to essentially increase my talk power. So I'm going to actually narrow it down uh, probably to maybe a third of what the normal, which is normally uh, 2.4 kilohertz. So what I'll do next is I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do that. And you will actually hear a difference this time. Uh, previously, there was no difference. And I thought there was a difference. And some of the subscribers said, no, there wasn't. So what we're going to do now is we are going to adjust the transmit bandwidth. And this is under the menu setup, which is option number 1110. And this sets the frequency characteristics of the DSP passband filter for transmitting in single sideband. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what the default sounds like, which is going to be 3300 to 2700. And then I'm going to show you what the 400 to 2600 sounds like. And you're going to be able to do it. To definitely hear a difference and this is actually this the sound that will be going out on the air and uh, I think it's going to be pretty cool so real simple so I'm going to go to the radio and I'm going to press uh, menu setup quickly and I'm going to rotate the multi knob to 1110 now right now I have it on the default which is 300 to 2700 so what I'll do is I'll do this first and then what I'll do is I'll switch it to 400 to 2600, and I want you to hear the difference. And again, this is your actual voice going out on the air. Uh, so let me go ahead and demonstrate that real quick here. All right, good evening, everyone. This is Steve again. So right now I've got the equalizer and the processor turned off. I have the little cover over the uh, foam portion of the microphone, the extender for the single sideband. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the microphone equalizer. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, I've got the monitor on microphone, uh, microphone equalizer. Let me go ahead and turn on the processor. 1, 2, 3, 4. 
This is Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot calling CQ 10 meter and listening for a contact. So the settings I have right now are the default settings for the uh, setting 110, which is a transmit single sideband bandwidth. So I'll show you where I have those real quick. I am testing right now at 300 and 2700 for setting 110 SSB transmit bypass or uh, band filter. I suppose that's what that means for. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and go to 400-2600 and I want you to listen to the difference. This is going to be what you're going to be listening for is a very crisp, sharp, uh, more tinty sound than what I have right now. So I'm going to go ahead and change that setting 110 to 400 2600 so stand by I'll do that right now okay so now I have turned that to 400 and 2600 you notice how more tinty the voice sounds this is again this is the transmit bandwidth uh, adjustment so originally I had told you that the width control the transmit and the receive well I was wrong the width only controls the receive bandwidth this setting here is is configuring the transmit band pass so it sounds much more tinty now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to the highest setting of 103,000 and I want you to listen to that stand by Okay, so now I am at 103,000. Do you hear how much more rich and deep that sounds? So that, uh, th this is great because, uh, you know, we finally got, I finally got this sorted out. And with Mark's help, I was able to kind of, with his help, I was able to solve this. So now when I'm transmitting, if I want a much narrower bandwidth, I will go ahead and go with 400 and 2600 for those long distance QSOs. Now if I'm talking local, I'm going to talk 100 and 300. So right now I'm at 100 and 300. I'm going to change back to 400 and 2600 and I want you to hear how much more uh, narrower it sounds. So let me change it real quick. Okay, I've changed it back to uh, 400 to 2600. So what you're listening to now is a much narrower bandwidth. But again, this setting here is 110 SSB. So this is what you need to change. So the steps are real simple. Just go ahead and press the M menu setup quickly. Then rotate the Moti knob until you get to 110. Now by default, it's going to be set to 37200. Tap the select button and adjust the multi-knob until the desired range. This one here is very bassy, which is more for local QSOs. This is the default. And this is the one I'm using for long distance uh, QSOs. So that's what I'm talking on right now is 400 to 2600. Now I'm going to change back to 100 to 300 which is what I might use for a local QSO. Okay, I'm back on 103,000. So this is more for local. Uh, this is the default, but right now I'm talking on 103,000. So you hear, mu you hear a much more acoustical sound. But when I go back to 400 to 2600, this is the one I want to use for long distance QSOs. So let me change it one more time so you can hear it. Okay, now we're back on local uh, long distance QSOs. We're now on 400 and 2600. This is Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot calling CQ 10 meter. This is Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot. 
We're using the narrower 400 to 2600, and this is what I'm going to use for long distance QSOs. I'm going to go back real quick and do the 103,000 for the more local QSOs. Okay, now I'm back on a local QSO. So this pretty much uh, covers everything. I just wanted to go over real quick uh, the recent discovery here. And uh, now thanks to, excuse me, excuse me real quick here. Thanks to the help of my friend uh, Mark out there. Now I have all this information correct. And now basically the setting for the uh, transmit bandwidth is 110 and these are the settings so there it is from the manual also so okay well that's all this is uh, KI5 JUF I just want to clear this up in 73 and have a great evening and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and again try this uh, the, the manual actually says 112 but on my radio it is 110 so from KI5 JUF, have a great evening and I hope you enjoy the video and we'll talk to you again, 73.